The following is an unofficial video response to Nintendo Review Tech USA, and and if Alpha makes sense as a video on this, it's an unofficial response to him or anyone else doing a video on this topic of the Call of Duty fanboys attacking the devs, threatening them. Okay, here that this rant goes. Hey guys, guys. Sometimes I admit I'm embarrassed to be a gamer because the actions of certain other cretins in the community just pisses me the fuck off. Now, I, I'm not a huge fan of Call of Duty or the series Call of Duty. I, if you are, I respect you. However, there is a Call of Duty fanboy, several Call of Duty fanboys, in fact, that have went too far as to embarrass the whole entire gaming community by threatening a developer, by threatening their lives and their family and everything. Well, I don't really know how to friend their family, but basically a guy from, I believe it's either Treyarch or Activision, I think it's Activision, this guy, well, he, he decided... The, to do his job and basically make it more balanced in Call of Duty because one, some of the guns were overpowered and it just wasn't fair. So he did some tweaks with a patch. Some fanboys didn't take kindly to that. They told him to kill himself. They kept harassing him on, I think, his Facebook or Twitter. And it got out of hand. Some people even threatened to kill him. Now, I did a rant earlier on fanboys. Now, this is kind of under the same realm, but this is an entirely different thing. There's a difference between being an obnoxious fanboy and being a criminally threatening cretin of the internet. Okay, there's no excuse for this. I'll tell you why this pisses me off so much as a gamer. And as a gamer, this really offends me because, well, I play video games because I like them, because they're fun. Meaning I do get in some disagreements with people saying, nah, this game ain't that good, and some fanboys just pop off at me. I, I admittedly have done some fanboyism in the past. I'm not really that bad anymore, but, yeah. But... Some people take it one step too far and they give us all bad reps to the politicians that bitch at gaming's breeding criminals to the psych psychiatric heads that say uh, games should be banned from because they create mental illness and they create social paths and all this bullshit. It doesn't do that. There's good people, good gamers. There's good Call of Duty gamers. I have friends that play Call of Duty like hardcore and they're nice people. But... You have your Cretans, as I said. I'm, I, I know I'm overusing the word Cretan, but these people are Cretans. They're pathetic human beings. To actually think because some game company did something they don't necessarily agree with, they have a right to insult one's family, to threaten one's family, and to threaten harming someone. Telling people, like, some of these threats were pretty bad. Like, people told this dev or engineer that he should die in a fire. They wanted to kill him and all this stuff, and that he was going to die, and... I guarantee you most of those pissed off Call of Duty gamers, those fanboys, most of them were like, probably like 10 years old, but still, if you're 10, you shouldn't be doing that. It's just no excuse. And this is my message to anyone that has sent the threats, condones the threats, or thinks the threats are funny or good. Fuck you, sell your games, sell your systems, get therapy. You're an embarrassment. You are a total embarrassment to gaming and the gaming community. Get help, insane fanboys. Now, as I said before, I'm not a huge fan of Call of Duty. I respect Call of Duty. I respect people that play Call of Duty. But I can see why so many people have grown to hate Call of Duty and its fellow gamers and people that play Call of Duty. Because these assholes give Call of Duty fans a bad rap. It's utter bullshit. It needs to stop. These people need to clean up their acts. And the ones that did it, they just need sent to jail. They really do. That's all I gotta say. This is plain pathetic and disgusting. Can, there, there's a saying that people should, people should be anonymous on the internet. Good idea. But to an extent, there has been stuff going on that warrants somewhat investigation at times. I think they need to crack down on certain of this stuff. I'm not saying the NSA should police the internet. We don't want the internet policed, but... We definitely need more regulation on moderating certain stuff going on. And they need to pay more attention on investigating certain issues. Because we can't have this stuff happening. We can't have people getting death threats for doing something that someone necessarily likes. If they do something someone doesn't like it, so what? They don't owe you anything. Fuck you. That's Blade Fist Gaming. Gotta go. Signing off.